Scorpio, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is going to be for April 29th all the way to May 5th. We have a lot of astrological stuff going on this week, so let's get to it. April 29th, the planet of love, Venus, is moving into its sign it rules, Taurus. That's a strong placement. On the next day, April 30th, Mars, the planet of males, Venus is females, Mars is males, of course. And um, it's the planet of action, war, aggression, determination, action. It's moving into its sign it rules, Aries. Hmm. There's definitely going to be a shift in the dynamics of relationships. Then on May 2nd, Pluto, your ruler, is going to be going retrograde. And it's going to be, I think it's going to be going back into Capricorn or still in Aquarius. And then we have on the 7th, a new moon in Taurus. So an opportunity to start this month off, right? Because this month is going to be popping with a lot of energy. You're going to see with that Pluto energy, a lot of things. We're, we're going to be getting perspective, especially for Scorpios. You're going to be asked to get some perspective, you know. It's time to go within and, and, and work at it again. Okay, so we've got the cards. Let's see how we're supposed to do this. Hmm. Wow, this is a very positive reading. Hmm. Yeah, this is really good. You know what? That goes that way. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Something doesn't feel right here. Something. That's it. Okay. There we go. <laughs> it's funny how that works, man. I love it. it you know what? My, my, uh, my guides have been testing me this week because some of these layouts I've been perplexed. Usually they just boom, 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 boom. But they got me perplexed. I don't know. It's not like I'm distracted. You know, I'm totally in it. But it all works out. So we got it in three groups. What we need to work on, what we need to embrace, and the outcome. And this outcome looks really good. But let's get to the beginning. We have rebirth here. Rebirth and the Page of Wands. This is a new beginning. It could be a little premature. So this is this new beginning that we're excited about. There's definitely an excitement here for change is going to take a little bit longer. That's a message for some of you specific Scorpios. What we need to embrace is trusting in the universe, trusting in timing. This is an excellent time to heal. It's an excellent time to get your power back. You're still in the game. And with all of this energy, kind of, this is a, 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 character, a character building energy, I believe. It's almost like I'm getting the, 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 the uh, picture of you dusting yourself off after being beat down. And now you're getting to work. And these wands are showing a lot of action, okay? It could be, like I said, it could be a little premature. However... What we are working on here, what we're, what the outcome is, is the magician and the ace of pentacles. This is you creating, manifesting something. And it all is indicative about getting excited about where we're going, trusting in the universe and getting our power back. So this is an empowering reading. I don't really need to clarify it because it's pretty cut and dry. This is about action. That emperor card is Aries. So that is, I mean, that dude sitting on Mars, the planet Mars. I mean, Mars is going into Aries. So this is going to be really important for you. Really important. So let's see what the Oracle's got to say. Mm. All right. Well, we've got an end to emotional loss. We've got an end to obstacles and challenges. We're not focusing on those anymore. It's an end to mental conflict. Throat chakra. We need to speak 
our truth. We need to say, I'm done with this. We need to move forward, taking your power back. Mercury is now in the midst of starting to go direct. As of today, it went direct today. Now it will slowly come out of retrograde and go forward. Mercury rules communications, speaking your truth. Seven, patience and planning. Now, remember when I said it feels premature. This is it right here. It's going to take some time to manifest this. I want you to pay attention to 555. This is the end to conflict. Now things start to balance out. But time, time will be very representative for this. I mean, it's, it's you know, because the Page of Wands, Knight of Wands can be immature energy. And we, I mean, we got great ideas. We're moving forward. We're creating that job we want. It's just, it's, 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 it's on its way. That's the message. It's on its way. All right. Get some psychic tarot for the heart. Yeah. Some of you are refusing to see that it all comes down to you choosing your battles. In the meantime, it's just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Again, this is the wheel of fortune. This is time. This is going with the flow. Success and growth after much patience and planning. This is telling you, slow down a little bit. We got this. You know, you can almost feel it. All right, let's get love. Let's see what's going on for that. Because it looks like we got some things we're refusing to see. Could be a new way of looking at things. Yeah, definitely. A new way of thinking about things. Oh boy. For love, yeah, this is exactly what this is. The Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords. For some of you, some of you, um, maybe uh, someone's checking out your social media. You know, maybe you're refusing to see that they're kind of stalking you if they're liking all your posts. <laughs> Watch out. But this takes a winning attitude instead of all this mental conflict, all right? And it makes you feel good, and you want to go out there and grab everything, but you still got some healing to do, okay? Um, Page of Wands, again, there's that energy. It's excitement, you know? You're, you're, you're releasing, and it's, it's a good feeling. It's a time for celebration. I got a feeling some of you end recognition and reward, this is, something's going on here at work, and I also think that there's an engagement maybe for some of you, but also um, maybe a new romance in a friendship. Maybe you're refusing to see that this person is is really oogling over you, you know, and you don't see it. And they're kind of, I don't think you're in that headspace. I, I hope you're in the uh, the midst of healing and taking your power back. But I think you're going to come to the conclusion like it's been there this whole time. It's going to be in a friend group or a work situation. You heard it here first. All right, let's let's uh, let's get some messages of love. What do we got for Scorpio? Look at that healing. You can't make this shit up, guys. You can't make this shit up. Old wounds and childhood issues need to be revisited. That may be something you're refusing to see. This will give you great perspective. Remember, your ruler is going retrograde, asking you to get perspective. Protected. You are safe and divinely guided. It's a great time for healing for you. Fate. This is a destined partnership. Yeah, I think it's in front of your face this whole time for you singles. And as far as committed relationships, I think that you guys need to go out and have some fun. I think that... You're refusing to see we're just kind of sitting in our own energy, our old energy. And, you know, relationships can get really stagnant if we don't liven them up. So divine timing. Let's just not take a trip to Vegas, you know, it, it, plan stuff. You know, again, it's patience and planning. All right. Let's get some closing messages. Jesus. All right. Wow. Look at that. Break free. Scorpio, Scorpio, you're being asked to break free from the tribe in order to live your authentic life. This isn't easy, but it's very necessary if you're going to share your true self with others. Be brave, be real, be you, Scorpio. And trust that those who love you will always be there for you. That's another thing of breaking free from this because you're refusing to see. You, you think that, for some of you Scorpios, you think that 
life needs to be full of challenges and obstacles and mental conflict in order to be interesting. And it doesn't. You know what I mean? Break free from that mental construct and your life will greatly improve. Look at that abundance. There's a lot of pentacles in here. We can't, we can't dismiss that. You're being asked, Scorpio, to open to abundance, to believe that you're deserving of it and to believe that it will flow to you. This is the first important step towards receiving it. Breathe deeply and trust that it's on its way. Major healing for you this week, if you choose it. You're refusing to see that you need healing and your priorities are first. But I'm going to tell you something. When you do, Scorpio, it's a life changer. And relationships open. I see new jobs. I see a lot of success and growth here for you. But it's got to be slow and steady in order to be worthwhile. All right, Scorpio, that's going to do it for you. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Put I claim it in the comments if it resonates with you. And I will see you next week.